evaluate the definite integrals. For our first definite integral, let's integrate from 1 to 2, 2 raised to the 3x minus 1 dx. So this is going to be a u substitution. I let u be equal to the inside. So here we could think of this as 2 to the u with inside function 3x minus 1. So you can think of the inside function as being, if I stick an actual number in there, what's the first thing that I do? You compute 3x minus 1. So du equal to 3 dx, dx equals du over 3. I can substitute in, and what we wind up with is 2 to the u, du over 3. Everything is in u, so I might as well put the limits in, in terms of u. So u of 2 is 5, and then u of 1 is 2. So I'm going from 2 to 5 now. Now, if you memorize this, any derivative of 2 to the u is just 2 to the u again, divided by natural log of 2. If you don't memorize that formula, we'll do it the long way here. So let's take a look. So 2, I want to rewrite this in a way that is more useful for integration. So we know e to the natural log of 2 is equal to 2 because e to the x and natural log of x are inverse functions. I mean, if I compose them in either order, they're going to cancel out, leaving me with x, or in this case, whatever's on the inside. So I'm going to have e to the natural log of 2 is 2, and then the u hangs out up on top. To get the antiderivative of this function, I'm going to do another substitution, v equal to natural log of 2 of u. Now, natural log of 2 looks fancy, but it's just a number. So when I take the derivative, of this part with respect to u, it's just going to be dv equals natural log of 2 du, and then I just push the natural log of 2 to the other side. When we do our v substitution, we're going to wind up with this, e to the v, dv, and a natural log of 2 in the bottom. That natural log of 2 can be pushed to the outside, and now I'm just looking at e to the v dv, and that's great. Any derivative of e to the v is just itself. So any derivative of this is just e to the v. And now I'm going to put my u back in. So I'm going to have 1 over 3 natural log of 2, e to the natural log of 2u. We have our old limits in u, 2 to 5. So this is going to collapse now back into 2 to the u. And all I need to do now is evaluate at 5 and 2 and take the difference. 2 to the fifth is 32, 2 squared is 4, the difference is 28, so I'm left with 28 over 3 natural log of 2. Okay, we could crunch that down further if we had a calculator. Next definite integral, let's look at x from 1 to 2 of log base 2 of x whole thing cubed over x dx. Now note, we have a log going on here. This cubed is not on the x term, so I really can't do anything with a logarithm rule. This isn't something that can be brought out to the front. So we just don't worry about it. We just look at this, and we notice that we have a composition going on. The inside of my composition is going to be log base 2 of x. So I'm going to substitute that out. u equals log 2 base 2 of x. Okay, and for purposes of integration and differentiating, I like to get rid of the base 2. So my formula tells me log base 2 of x is just equal to natural log of the inside, so in this case x, and I divide that by the natural log of the base. So this is my new formula for u. I take the derivative of this with respect to x. Natural log of 2 is a number, so I don't worry about it. Derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x and then I multiply that by dx. We push everything in the denominator to the other side, and that gives me dx is x natural log of 2 du. Let's substitute. Put everything in here. We notice that the x's go away, and I'm left with natural log of 2, which is a constant, so I pull it out in front. We have u cubed, we have du, and I might as well go find the limits now, because whatever's left over is completely in terms of u. So u of 2 is equal to log of 2 base 2, 
that's equal to 1. What's happening with logarithm? It takes a base, it takes a number, and it tells you the exponent that you put over the base to get that number coming out. So in this case, we have 2 to the 1 is equal to 2. The exponent is a 1, so that's going to translate into a 1 over here. u to the 1 is log base 2 of 1. So we want to find the number that I raise 2 to to get 1. Well, 2 to the 0 is equal to 1, so that's going to mean that this logarithm is equal to 0. So that's my other limit. Okay, u cubed du, any derivative of that, add 1 and flip it over. So we have 1 fourth u to the fourth, going from 0 to 1. So we evaluated both of those points, take the difference. That gives me a 1 fourth, and so we're looking at natural log of 2 over 4.